Good evening. A massive sea search south of Perth has ended in tragedy with the bodies of two sailors in their 60s and 70s pulled from the water. Their yacht was competing in the Bunbury and Return Ocean Race when it capsized. Four others on board were thrown into the water and rescued by nearby vessels. A grim end to a marathon ocean rescue operation. A second sailor's body discovered after midday, just over 12 hours after the yacht ran into trouble off Mandurah. 15-metre yacht Finisterre left Fremantle with a crew of six yesterday afternoon to compete in the Bunbury and Return Ocean Race. By midnight, a full-scale search was underway. The search uh, was in difficult conditions. Um, it encompassed an area of approximately 140 square nautical miles and involved six aircraft and ten vessels. Authorities were initially alerted by a distress beacon. By the time the rescue choppers spotted the capsized vessel 11 nautical miles southwest of Mandurah, one person was already dead. The search continuing for a second missing sailor. Competing yacht Huckleberry was the first on the scene, pulling four survivors to safety, two other vessels also stopping to help. The crew told Nine News that conditions overnight weren't good and by the time they reached the overturned vessel, the survivors had been in the water for several hours and weren't in a good way. A woman was taken to Peel Health Campus suffering exposure and seasickness. It's understood the yacht was being skippered by owner Rob Thomas, an experienced and well-respected sailor. It was the 70th year of the Bunbury and Return Ocean Race, which is coordinated by the Royal Freshwater Bay Yacht Club. Understandably, we've all taken it fairly hard. Um, we've had uh, counselling in the, in the club today for a few of the staff members and, uh, yes, we're, uh, we're feeling it. Commodore Dean McCauley says it's a requirement for competitors to wear life jackets but couldn't confirm if that was the case. Our sport is um, resilient but as I said it's not without risks and people are aware of those risks. And Tegan Sapwell joins us. Tegan, this tragedy has shocked Perth's yachting community. Alice, Perth's sailing community is reeling tonight. Today, as a mark of respect, all racing at Royal Freshwater Bay Yacht Club was called off. Now, there has been some speculation that this accident was caused after the vessel lost its keel. It is still too early to know for sure at this stage, but authorities say there will be a full investigation into this tragedy. Alice. All right, thank you, Tegan.